Hi, I'm Dorian, M6 FSI. Uh, another ISS pass today, broadcasting to a school. Um, last time I used my Yaesu FT8900 in the car to, uh, to receive. Um, today I'm going to be doing it with my handheld. Okay, so here it is. Um, it's a Yaesu FT1DE. Um, only purchased this the other day, so it'd be uh, first time I've tried that and I've got that uh, connected up to the Yagi antenna that I used last time. Uh, so uh, the radio is all set up, uh, just need to turn it on. There we go and uh, I've got that all set up already. Uh, 145 800 is what we'll be using. Okay same software as before, uh, the Orbitron software. Um, I'll put a link to the other video which has got details about that, but uh, as you can see uh, the footprint of the ISS is approaching the UK there and uh, will be passing almost directly overhead, uh, as you can see that, the uh, cross with Finden is where I am, uh, you can also see that on the other view here, uh, the centre of the circle is, is going to be right above my head, so it should be a a good one, we'll see. Okay, so it's 14.20 now, just uh, the pass should be starting. Over here somewhere. Unfortunately there's a house in the way to start with. There we go. Hi Luke, I think unmanned missions are extremely important. We've explored so much of our solar system uh, and we still have a lot of exploring to do. Unmanned missions are lower risk and lower cost, but ultimately I think we'll always be more excited about human exploration. Over. Uh, in, uh, in terms of the 
conservative jobs for people. So uh, really, it's, uh, it's all benefit for planet Earth. Over. Okay, that probably uh, looks like it's about it then. Um, lost, lost the station now. Uh, it's dropped below the horizon. So, uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs>